Hi guys. Welcome to your library at home. It's Elda and tonight we're going to do a really fun project. We are going to do fused plastic tote bags. So if you're watching and you um, have some plastic bags and an iron handy, let's get started. I think it's right about seven o'clock. So if you're watching, let me know you're here. Um, we are going to, like I said, make Hi Maureen, Hi Emma. We are going to make tote bags out of fused plastic grocery bags. So, hi Nancy. I'm gonna show you a couple things that I made. Um, okay, so this actually, forgive the backwards words guys, but this is actually going to be, hi Denise. This is a bag that I made for my son for his bike. Um, this is literally, you can see, Butera bag. What's that? Menards bag, Ace Hardware bag. Um, he asked if he can make something to put on the back of his bike for his water bottle. So really durable. This is really, really fun. Um, I'm going to show you some of the plastic. Hi, Nancy. Some of the fabric is what we call it. So here is some fused Target bags. And I wish you guys could feel this because it's actually really thick and sturdy. It's, it's really awesome. Um, hi, Maureen. Here is, and I don't know if you guys can see this, but this is Dollar Tree bags, it's Butera bags, it's Target bags, all ironed together to make this fabric. So what I've made so far, before I show you what we're gonna make tonight, is, okay, this is my favorite, literally. I think this would probably hold two bottles. This is, can you guys see that? Can anybody tell what this is? because I feel like we all have a lot of these right now. This is literally an Amazon Prime bubble wrap envelope. So I fused my Amazon Prime envelope together with a bunch of my tote bags and it is really sturdy and it's also kind of insulated because it's bubble wrap. So here's one bag I made, um, another tote bag. This is gonna be great when I go to the store. Hi Jackie. When I go to the store, it's really sturdy. It's gonna hold cans. Literally, guys, these were bags that would be ready to be dumped into the recycle your bags at the store um, bin. I also made, oh, sorry, dropped it. Okay, a couple of things before we get started, just to give you guys ideas of what you could make. Look at, I made myself a lunchbox. Isn't that cute? This was from like a little apple picking bag. I just fused on some Velcro. There you go, lunchbox. Hi, Chrissy. So here's my new lunchbox. Another one, can you guys tell what this is? This is another Amazon Prime envelope. And like I said, this is kind of insulated. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop something in here that I wanna keep cold, throw it in my backpack, it's good to go. This one's my favorite. This is my new pencil pouch, okay. The only thing that is not recycled on here, which actually is because it's a button from my old shirt, but this is literally a pouch. Fold it over, wrap it up, and there you have it. Throw it in your backpack, you are good to go. So if you have not fused bags before, you guys are gonna really like it. I'm gonna turn the camera down because I wanna show you. Hi, Jackie. Have you tried this? Because these are really fun. I'm gonna turn the camera down and show you what I was working on before we got started. Um, this is actually for my son who asked me to make him a bag. Everything's gonna be backward again, like I said. But this is literally his little snack bag. You see, we, we've been collecting. Um, these work excellent as well. So we were, we've been making him a little fun. The back is gonna be chip bags. Um, we can actually finish this one if you want, but I was gonna try to make a fun pink and purple one. So first thing you guys wanna do is you wanna grab your bag. Um, jewel bags, Target bags, like I said, Butera bags, they all work great. So first thing you wanna do is you wanna cut the bottom off your bag. You wanna cut, now I'm gonna save this cause this might be a fun strip on another bag somewhere or if you guys watched me make t-shirt yarn, you can actually make um, plastic bag yarn as well. They call it plarn. 
That's what's on the little strap of my little pencil pouch. So I saved those parts. I'm gonna save these, because we could probably reuse these for handles, which is actually what is on my little bottle bag where little, two little plastic handles that snapped right on there. Okay, so now you wanna open it up. Now because I like this pink, I'm actually going to cut it apart because I might want, you're gonna sandwich it, so you might want pink on the other side. I'm just gonna cut this. We're gonna go with a girly bag tonight, pinks, I think. I've got this great Purple Claire's bag. If you really wanted to get creative, you could actually cut the letters out and um, spell something, and you can make it a personalized bag. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the Claire's off. And I'm gonna cut the handle off, which you probably don't have to because you could fuse something right over it. You wanna have your iron to start on a low setting, but once you start fusing these bags, you'll get a better idea of which bags, like this one's a little bit thicker. The Ulta bag was pretty, this one's thinner, I'm sorry. The Ulta bag was thick. Target bags are great, but Butera bags are pretty thin. So once you start doing this, you'll have an idea. Okay, we're gonna go with one more. I really like this, this green bag, this little Windsor bag. Again, it's got the great handles. This also has some really great detailing on it. So that, that one's gonna be a lot of fun. So let's cut it here. Oops, I'm gonna, I don't wanna cut the handles because we're gonna save these handles. You wanna have about three to four bags. I, I personally like them a little thicker, um, but once you start doing this, you'll get an idea of how you like it. If you like it, your bag, your fabric a little thinner or thicker. All right, this last one and then we can start fusing. All right, so as you see now, we have a nice big sheet of plastic, which I'm also gonna disconnect this. So keep in mind, you see words that maybe you want to spell something. Okay, so we're going to start out with, which side do we want to do, guys? We'll go with this one. I like this one. It's got some fun words on it. So I'm just going to go ahead and sandwich these two together. We'll run the clairs along this side. I'll trim that a little bit because I don't want to cover up those words. If you wanted to get creative, we'll do that on the other side. I'm gonna put some Windsor on here. And I am going to use my pinking shears and see if that doesn't make. Sometimes pinking shears work on plastic and sometimes they don't. They seem to be working okay, so let's see how this is gonna work. All right, let's move all this out of the way. So I've got a towel down on my table. Hi, Melissa, hi, Judy. Hi, Angie. If you guys are not working on an ironing board, just go right ahead and use your, um, put a table down, table, I mean a towel down on your table. We've got that. Let's add some of this. I like this. This says, I am fashion. I'm gonna put that right along there. This we can have some fun with. This has some fun words. Got love, collection. All right, I think you guys get the idea. So, just gonna throw a couple more words on there. All right, I have my iron set to polyester, which I'm actually gonna lower it to silk right now. I've got parchment paper below all of this. So nothing is touching. Definitely want to have parchment paper down, okay? Because it will stick. Put a piece of parchment paper right on top. All right, 
I lost my fun little detail. We'll cut that off. All right. So you just want to start ironing it. Go at first in quick circles and check it. Okay, so I can tell this is not sticking, so my temperature is good. And you are just literally fusing all of this plastic together right now. Be sure to not go outside of the parchment paper. Hi, Christina. Try not to go outside of your parchment paper because you will get plastic on your iron, which you can scrape it off pretty quickly, but try not to do it. I have not yet found a plastic bag that has emitted fumes. But you do need to be careful of that. The only time that I had a fume issue was when I tried to decorate my plastic with Sharpie. And then that, that definitely had some fumes. Okay, so I feel like I might need to put my iron up. Yep, because you can see these aren't sticking. So I know it's safe now to raise the temperature or to hold it down. I'm actually giving it a little bit of pressure. I'm just holding this down. I can feel, you can, it's kind of fun too because you can hear like the plastic kind of, there's a little air bubble, you can hear it popping. We're gonna check on this right here because I can tell, yep, not sticking yet. So this plastic's a little thicker so I am safe to use a warmer iron. I just didn't want to start with the warmer iron first. And it, you know, if you do use a warm iron and it kind of sticks, it'll rip your plastic a little bit and just put something on top of it. It's really easy to prepare. I don't know if you guys can hear that, so now it's starting to starting to make that fun noise. So let's see if we're sticking. This one's, these just are not wanting to stick today. All right. Let's see. Okay, so we're starting to stick a little bit. You, I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's starting to get um, the fabric, the plastic gets like wrinkly. It's really fun. So these are very similar to the bags that you actually can buy at the store, but it's actually way more fun to make your own because what else would you do with the bags? Um, I am actually going to make my niece, um, has an adorable, cute little girl. I am going to make her a bib out of this because how fun is that? That's going to be my next little food one. All right, so it's all starting to fuse down now, except for on the edges because I don't have my parchment there. I'm going to turn my iron up a little, you guys, just because I want to be able to get this tote made before we are out of time. So I'm just going to go really fast and circular motions. Give it another minute and we'll check it. All right, so, oh, this one, if you guys, I don't know if you guys can see this, but the ink is actually coming off. So they're starting to stick. So this fabric is thicker, definitely needed a hotter iron, for better sake than sorry. Now I'm gonna go really quickly because I do not want to melt my cute pink and green bag. Since my daughter is officially away at college now, I don't have any bags from cute places like this. All right, so we're getting there. We're starting to stick, almost ready. So we're gonna make a quick tote bag. Um, this fabric is actually really, really great on a sewing machine. That's how I made my son's bag for his bike. Um, I was able to sew it very easily, but you actually do not need to sew this because it's plastic. So you just have to know where to fuse your seams. Okay, so we're pretty good. Almost everything is down. These little guys didn't want to stick so, so well. So let's go ahead and get those. I'm gonna fold over my parchment and get all of this. All right, I think we're just about ready. Just give it an extra. Okay. So we've got most of this is fused down. You can see, I'm going to flip it over now. 
And we're going to hit the other side. And I'm going to add another Claire's to this. And we're going to add some green because I think this green is cute. Green. All right. Now the other side was real close to being done. You want to flip it just to be sure. I can tell that's sticking already because my iron is really hot now. Yep, we're pretty good, guys. I didn't make this one real thick. Um, like I said, it, it's kind of up to you guys how thick or thin you want it. I like mine a little bit thicker. All right, we are, oh, the pinking chairs looks really cute on that. Just going to hit that a little bit more. And I think we just kept it at the top. All right, oh, see, I got a little, I got a little bubble there. All right, and I've got just the top of the clairs and that one little stubborn piece on the back I can tell didn't stick again. Going over this real quickly. All right, we lost a little bit of our clair. So that would be a good place. We are gonna just fix that little bubble right there with a little patch. So the Claire's was a thinner plastic, so I was kind of afraid that was gonna, I'm going real fast on that, it should be good. You let it cool too. Oh, look, see, I got the egg. All right. I'm going to pretend like that's perfect. And this one little piece, I knew it. Hit those real quick. So the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to... All right, that one didn't want to, that one didn't want to stick either. I don't want to melt my Claire. You guys see how it melted? Too hot, guys. Cotton doesn't work on a Claire's bag if, if you have one. So, I don't really want to put another one on top of there because it's just going to melt. So, I'm just going to hit that piece down. Let's see. We got to fix that. Sorry. One little tiny spot and we are ready. This is actually really fun to do. I don't know about you guys, but I really enjoy when I sew. Ironing is my favorite spot or favorite part to do. Okay. So I don't know if you guys can see this now. It's all fused together. Hi, Isela. And we have a bag. So if we were gonna make a big bag, we would just sandwich it together. But just for our sake right now, we are going to go ahead and we are going to fuse this together. Real quickly, I did lower my iron. Oh, almost forgot to tell you guys. You wanna put a piece of um, cardboard in between there. If you fuse this, it will, it will stick. So we're gonna pull some cardboard out. I only want to fuse the part that I'm going to hem, that I'm going to seam. So I've got cardboard in between, so I'm good. I'm probably going to melt my Claire's again a little bit, you guys. That Claire's bag wasn't the best. But that's part of learning, trial and error. Some of these bags work just awesome. All right, so. We now have a seam. I'm gonna go to the bottom. And I'm trying to hurry you guys. If any of you guys actually make this, would you please send in a picture? 
Okay, so now I'm fusing my bottom. I've got my cardboard in. Now we're gonna clean it up. We're just gonna trim the edges, give it a nice, you can see that popped off a little bit too. Trim the top. So I was telling my sister-in-law who is actually a nurse and she said that these would be great bags to send to healthcare workers to tote their shoes around. So actually, this one's kind of turning out to be a perfect bag for that. Okay, here we have it. Our bag is now fused together. We have seams, can you guys see that? And then this is where we would just if you want to recycle your handles, all you got to do is iron these on. Just keep in mind when you're ironing, you need to have cardboard in between. Otherwise, so I can sneak this one in without cardboard. I'm going to put one handle on for you guys. And if you don't have a handle that you can reuse, just cut strips and make your handle. So this one on really, really good. All right. There you go. There's my handle. So I hope you guys like this and I hope that you guys make one of these. This is actually really, really fun. So here's my bag, here's my handle. It's really sturdy, actually, guys. It's better than the ones that you buy. So, I hope you like this. This is our repurposed bag from Scrap Bags. And let me know if you make one. All right, I'll see you guys. Have a good night. Bye.